motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg. You know I'm hopping with the D R E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who's back up in this motherfucker. Hey guys and welcome to another Clash Royale video. For this video, I wanted to show you how to use the battle ram. One of you guys actually suggested that I do a, a battle ram video, so I'm gonna do that today. The battle ram, as you can see, guys, is, a, is as you can see, guys, is a really really good card. The the best thing about it is uh, it is that it only does damage to buildings, so that's a that's a really good thing. The second thing is that uh, when it dies, it spawns two barbarians. So again, you have like a you could say like a like a uh, like a troop that does. Like you have two troops in one card, like that's amazing. Like you have uh, one card, like one troop that does uh, attacks to only to buildings, and when it dies, you have a second troop, the barbarians that attack like anything, like any troops or any buildings. So the card is really, really good. As you can see, guys, I'm gonna build a deck now uh, based on the battle ram. So I'll be back just in a deck. Okay, guys, I just built a deck around the battle ram now. As you can see, guys, obviously we have the main card that is the battle ram. We have, uh, the second card is a mini pekka. The reason why I put the mini pekka because again I wanted to deal with tanks like giants, royal giants, and maybe you know even elite barbarians. So that's what I'm using the mini pekka for. Does really really good damage. Miner again to attack the towers, do some chip damage. Like so, you can you know use it to get some good damage on the towers. Inferno Tower again to distract any tank like golems, lava hound, and whatnot. Poison again, the minor poison again. I'm going to use it to get as much as chip damage I can, and even cycle back to my miner so I can take out the tower in double elixir. Golem again to distract some troops, tank for them, and whatnot. The ice spirit to get that freeze effect a bit so that it can actually stall my troops and the inferno tower can completely do its full damage. Uh, goblins again, like you know, just to take out some, uh, take out some small troops or even distract some big troops like the Pekka or, or something like that. So this is a deck battle ram deck that I built right now, guys. I hope it does well. Let's hop onto a live lab battle now. So this is our first live battle, guys, against Bad Boy. That's a weird name. So I'm gonna start with the battle ram right at the back. As I said, right, I'm gonna bring the Inferno Tower to tank for that Lava Hound so it can take it out, take it out completely. We have the battle ram that's uh, approaching. I'm gonna put this uh, on the left. Uh, we have the lava hound that's going to get taken out completely. I'm gonna poison all of that. That is a really, really good uh, value for poison. It took out everything actually. So we are in a really, really good position, I guess. Uh, we defended that completely. Okay, so this is bad. Okay, I didn't expect that. I hope that balloon does does not get two shots. I'm not really sure. I put a pekka just to distract, just to see uh, if I can get any hit on the tower, which I'm not going to get. I guess I'm not pretty sure. Okay, so the balloon did get a lot of hits on us. Uh, we are at 700 right now, so that's not a good thing for us. I wish I could have done a bit better. I'm gonna rush now. I'm gonna put the miner and the battle ram so it can reach the tower. He does. He did use seven elixir just for the lava hound. So is that okay? He zaps it. Okay, that was annoying. We have two barbarians on the tower though, so that's a good thing for us. We did get, uh, we did manage to get some damage, so that's good for us. The lava hound again is gonna get melted by the inferno tower because he zapped us, so he really doesn't have anything. Uh, I'm gonna put an ice golem to distract all of that. As you can see, guys, he's doing a really really good job of distracting stuff. We have a mega minion that's coming towards us. I hope he doesn't get any hits. He does get one hit, okay. We are in a in a bit of bad position, guys. But I think we can come back. I'm not pretty sure. Let's try. Uh, I'm gonna put the miner and poison everything, I guess. I'll I will poison everything, guys. I'm gonna put the battle ram right now. As you can see, guys, I have a battle ram as well going on. He puts a goblin gang to defend against that. Inferno tower for the lava hound that's coming towards us. We have one goblin coming. He has a lava hound and a mega minion behind it, and that's a really really big push, guys. That's coming towards us. I hope we can defend that. I'm gonna poison all of this. He f he actually zaps my uh, inferno tower. That's not really good for us. I'm gonna put a second inferno tower, guys. As you can see, he got completely distracted by that. Uh, he's gonna fireball and take out our tower completely. I'm gonna try to salvage this by putting a miner. I hope I can get some damage on the tower right now. I'm gonna put the hope the battle okay he just freezes it in time we have two barbarians and poison acting on that tower but uh, I don't think we have time guys right now we did a really good job of defending in the second half you could have done a bit of a better job but then again he had an all air deck and I didn't really have anything for air defense so it was a really good 
I mean, it was really a bad uh, thing for us. Let's try to. I won't change this deck. I don't want anything to change for now. Uh, I think I might. Uh, you could say not put. I don't want to put anything for air defenses for just for now. I'm happy with this deck. So let's just try to stick to this deck and hop onto another uh, life battle. Okay, guys, for this battle, we are fighting VIP. Uh, so I think he's a really, really big authority or something because he's kept his name, you know, a VIP. So I'm glad I'm fighting a VIP. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, uh, I'm gonna poison that and minor it as well. We're gonna, gonna get some chip damage on it. So we bought the tower back down to 2572. I'm gonna predict the. <laughs> I was right, guys. I, I knew he was gonna put the miner over there. So the miner is gonna lock onto the ice golem for a bit and protect us from getting all that damage being done. I'm gonna cycle back to my ice spirit just to you know cycle my whole deck. I'm gonna put the battle ram. Uh, I think the minions are a bit annoying though. To be honest, I hope they don't take all my. Okay, he's gonna put the elite barbarians, guys. That's a bit bad for us, but I'm gonna use my mini pekka and the ice golem. To distract all of that, the, it it does get everything does get shut down really nicely. So it was a good defense by us. Uh, okay, guys, as you can see, the main man himself. We have the royal giant. Really, really annoying, guys. I hope he doesn't zap. Guys, I'm done with this game. I'm done. Like seriously, why, why? I'm done with this game, guys. It's so annoying. Like seriously, guys. He is gonna get like thousand hits. I'm not complaining, but guys, that is annoying. You know what? I'm actually gonna rush. I'm not angry, but then seriously, I'm gonna rush with my battle ram, ice spirit, and poison. Uh, okay, that is not really good for us, guys. Again, gonna predict. Yeah, I was right, guys. He's gonna use the uh, miner in the same position. We are in a bit of a like bad position, but I wanna because all because of the royal giant, guys. I don't hate the card, but then seriously, it is annoying. The miner is doing like a bit of a chip damage, whatever he can do. Uh, Inferno Tower lock on. Okay, guys, we did manage to get the Inferno Tower locked on on the tower. The Ice Spirit and the Ice. Okay, we have the Ice Wizard that is locked on to the. I'm going to put the, put the Mini Pekka to deal with that uh, Royal Giant, guys. Back him up with some Goblins. The Ice, ice Golem is doing a really, really good job of tanking, tanking things for us. We have the Miner on our side, guys. Uh, again, not good for us. The minions are gonna get taken out completely by the tower. I'm not pretty sure. Yeah, they do get taken out. I'm gonna put the royal giant. I hope he is in range. No, he's gonna put the miner to just distract the intruder. No, seriously, guys. Our last two matches have been a bit unfortunate, to be honest. First, we had an air deck, and second, we had this royal giant thing. Bit annoying, guys, seriously. Um, so, let's try to. Yeah, good game, dude. Good game. He has elite barbarians and royal giant. How can like how can you even get more worse? Like seriously, guys, how can you get more worse? Uh, so yeah, guys, we are gonna lose this battle. Okay, guys, I bit uh, made a bit of modifications to the original deck, guys, because it wasn't really working out. So I'll post a before and after picture of the modifications that I made. So as you can see, guys, this is a new deck. I'm gonna start with the battle ram at the back. I'm gonna fireball that uh, wizard. I hope it does get in the. Okay, and the our battle ram is gonna reach the tower, and the barbarians won't get any hit, unfortunately. But we did get the charge damage, guys, so that was really good for us. I am gonna st I'm gonna start with the electro wizard at the back. He's gonna freeze us, guys, as you can see. And unfortunately, he did get a bit of damage, not not that good. We have the electro wizard and the battle ram and mega minions and some skeletons reaching his tower, guys. Our battle ram is again gonna hit the tower, and the bar one of the barbarians is gonna get. Uh, hit the tower guys that was a really really good push by us I do have the elite barbarians on hand just in case he just try to make a push again I'm gonna not gonna try to defend that um, I think yeah the tower is gonna take it out completely as you can see guys that was a really really, really good push by us I'm gonna fireball that uh, wizard I don't want him to reach our tower I hope I can get the minions okay I do get uh, at least uh, two of the minions guys the wizard is gonna get taken out completely we have one minion coming towards us, so we'll be taken out again. So guys, again, we are in the lead over here. Gonna use the Electro Wizard guys to stun him. I'm pretty sure he's gonna freeze us, but I'm not gonna put my skeletons until he freezes us guys. Okay, he doesn't freeze us, wow, that was a bit strange. So the Electro Wizard is gonna reach the tower guys and he's gonna fireball that because again, I don't think he has anything to defend that. 
so we are in a really really good lead here guys as you can see the modification that i made is really working out so <clears throat> i mean the original deck that i made like really it wasn't really working well so i made some modifications <coughs> sorry for that i'm going to fireball that uh, wizard i think it's all put okay guys see you, we actually predicted the fireball and got those barbarians as well guys that was just amazing i'm going to use the electro wizard to take out that uh, hog and minions we're going to use the mega minion as well guys as you can see guys uh, we are in a really really good lead over here uh, i have the battle ram i'm going to zap that guys because i don't want that wizard to deal with us completely uh, we, he has 50 health left on the tower guys going to use the electro wizard and i'm going to use the elite barbarian push back that hog so he doesn't get any damage on us guys because i don't want that hard to happen Uh, this is going to be really really close guys i'm not pretty sure i hope he doesn't put anything i'm going to put the electro wizard just in case i don't want to he's going to log us guys i have to fireball that i hope he doesn't put anything come on come on 4 3 2 1 we won this one guys this was a really really good close and brutal match guys oh my god i can't really believe that we won that sorry for that see, as you can see guys the modifications that we made like the electro wizard to uh, stun the hog rider and what not and even the skeletons just to cycle back it does it is a really really good job of uh, coming back to our battle ram because i think we got two or three hits by the battle ram on the tower like directly even though the barbarians were not able to get to the tower the smash damage the charge damage did get some hits so as you can see guys that worked really well if you enjoyed this video guys as you can see we had a really, really close match we won against a really, really close like uh, match up uh i think i made a couple of bad decisions uh because we had a really good lead on him and we could have won it easily but because of my bad decisions i think uh i could have played it a bit better but again in the end what matters is that we won so that was a good thing uh as you can see guys i made a lot of modifications to the deck to the original deck because we didn't have something for air and now we do like the mega minion for balloons lava hound minions and what not we have the electro wizard and the elite barbarians to take care of any tanks or hog riders or golem pekka and what not so do they will do a really good job we have three spells guys log fireball and zap uh, mainly because of there are a lot of zap bait decks like you need to deal with uh, simultaneously simultaneously deal with goblin barrel goblin gang princesses so i that's why i used three spells and as well as you know do some uh, direct damage to towers using all these three uh, obviously we have skeletons to cycle back to our battle ram and the last card the main card the battle ram uh, so make sure that the battle ram reaches the tower guys that's the most important thing and sometimes even though your battle ram might reach the tower the barbarians that spawn from it might not hit the tower because they get distracted by different troops and what not so just make sure that you get the charge damage that's what matters the most So this is our overall deck guys I hope you uh, like the video and the deck make sure to use the deck and tell me how you're going to use it you might even play more better than me uh, be sure to hit the like button guys and also hit the square red button subscribe button guys that's what it's uh, used for I'm pretty sure everyone knows that I don't know why I'm saying that and see you in the next video guys peace